Hi right, guys, this is game review number one of seven for the week that was. But without further ado, let's see how it went. Move my right rook pawn up two. My opponent moves his king side pawn up two. We move our queen side pawn up one. He moves his queen side pawn up two. We move it one of our right and pawns up one. Brings out his right side right out. We bring our right side or push it out. He brings his left side knight out. We bring our king side pawn out. He moves his queen side pawn down one. We decide block here. Now these four pawns cannot go anywhere unless they take diagonally. He moves his right side bishop to threaten our queen. We block moving one of our right pawns up. Retreats. After being by our pawn, he retreats. Bishop. We move with our right handed pawns up. He moves his one of his left his left rock pawn down. We move our left or, or we, we move our left rook pawn up one. He moves his left side bishop down. We move our left side bishop up. Castles. Move our right side bishop up. He brings his right side rook pawn down. We bring our right side pawn up. Takes us. Take him. He now moves his knight down the board. Oh, we have to move. We're going to move here. We move this knight here because we want to protect this space from being moved to by hit by our opponent's knight. If he moves here, he can push an out rock right there. He moves one of his left horns down. We move our right horn. Bishop up. He takes our bishop. The reason why he took his, our bishop, I think, is because he didn't want us taking his knight and having him force take our bishop here. Because that means we can take his form there with our rook. Opens up, up for attack, completely up for attack. So I, I can understand why he took. Bishop, and we would take his bishop, our pawn, and we also threaten his knight. He moves his pawn knight forward. We take his knight with our knight, takes our knight with his pawn. We move our queen out. Move our queen out. Brings us. Been down to take an unprotected if unprotected the gain an advantage ship pressure on us we move our one of our left side pawns up one he takes our pawn with his pawn takes his pawn with 
a left side bishop. He brings his, one of his bishops down. We move our queen on the on the on the edge, and then our goal is to threaten his king with our queen. He takes our bishop with his bishop, puts us in check. We take his bishop with our knight, brings his king down one. If he didn't do that, it would have been checkmate. Next move, our next move, while moving our queen here. Oh, but for some reason we decide not to check him. That queen. Pretty mistake. So you see we just had the castle. And instead of putting the pressure on by checking his knight his king with our queen, decides to move his rook, pressure our queen. We have to retreat, move our queen out of the way. And the reason why we couldn't take his rook up here because his second rook guarding his first rook. We have to move our queen out of the way. He moves his black pawn down to pressure our queen. And for some reason, I don't understand why I didn't take his pawn here. I had a golden opportunity to take his pawn here. It was unguarded. I don't know why I didn't do it. And now I know why I didn't do it. I couldn't. Because his pawn, moving his pawn down, makes his queen checking my king. So I can't take his pawn. Because my, moving his pawn down, his queen is now checking my king. So I have to get the king now. So I move my queen over to go in front of the king to protect my king. He takes my queen with his queen, we take his queen with the king. All right, at the moment we've got, we've both got two rocks and a horse left, knight. We both, he's got six pawns and I've got five pawns. The game is still in the balance. He moves his knight down, we take his rock. He takes our rock. With our king, king up to threaten his pawn and his knight. He moves his pawn down to protect our knight. Can't take the knight or the pawn because they're both protected. This pawn is protected by the knight and this knight is protected by the pawn. We move our rook over. He moves his rock down. We move our knight over here. Moves one down. We shot our rock. For some reason we bring our king down. There. Yeah, probably should have placed it here. Actually, no, sorry, couldn't place it here because it would have been check. Could have moved here, he still would be able to check us, so that's pretty much the only way we can go. We are king down here, he moves his knight down to check us again. We move our king away, moves his rock down, kicks his pawn. We somehow, for some reason, decide to move out right up here. Brings his, his knight down here. Both right now, his rock and his knight is protecting his, his pawn from being taken by our. Rook and our knight is protected by the his pawn. 
Because Pawn is protected by his Rook. For some reason we move our King up here. Christian Pawn. Knight comes back up here. We take his Pawn. He moves his Rook again. We move out. For some reason we move out. Knight over here. To be honest, I was playing poker at the same time as playing chess, so I'm concentrating on both games, and uh, as a result, my chess game suffered. He moves his rook down here. It's written now. Rook. Move out. Right down to protect our, our rook. Moves his rook up here to threaten our. Knight, move our king over, he moves his pawn down, we take the pawn, takes out the mistake, and then we take, takes our knight. We're moving this way, over here, instanced our knight, die by the rock, as brook. That was a big mistake by us. All this move taken by my king coming over here. Game was in the balance. However, there's rook taking my knight. He suddenly got a knight and a rook versus our stole rook. We take one of his pawns. He puts the pressure on our rock with his rock. We take his pawn, threatening to have a queen. He takes our rock. Right, and with that, we're pretty much dead. He'll just do. A, he'll just start mopping up our pawns now. We make. We we take a pawn with his king. Takes it. One of our pawns with his knight. We move a pawn up. Moves the knight. Move a pawn up. He takes. Takes our knight with his. Takes our pawn with his knight. We're down to three pawns now. We move a pawn up. Takes our third to last pawn with his rook. We move a pawn up. He moves his knight up. Move our king. We move our knight. He moves his knight to block our pawn from getting close to the finish line. Come a queen. We move our king. He moves rock. We take knight with our king. He moves his rock. Firing line of us. We move our king. He moves his pawns down. Now his pawns can basically be free. Come queens now. Because he's going to, as you can see shortly, he's going to block us from coming over here to attack his pawn. Move our king. He takes our last pawn. We move our king down. He brings his rock over here. We threaten his rock. However, he moves his king over here. Now you cannot move. You cannot move your king within one tile of your opponent's king. You can't move here. To take his rook, because his king is within. Will be within one tile. We're just forced to wander around. Now he's just free to bring his horns down. Some queens, but dying of a slow death, and we resign. So the key moment was when we lost our horse. Moved our king away from the horse on the knight, and he took our knight. That was basically the turning point in the game. Otherwise, we could have drew the game, but he he put too much pressure on us anyway. He put lots of pressure on us. So the likelihood of winning wasn't very high anyway. 
who had not put any pressure on him whatsoever, apart from this, the Queen moved to check him. That's pretty much the only opportunity we had to put pressure on his king. On the high side, he, moved, he put lots of pressure on our king. Pieces. He made some mistakes, that's why he won. And he capitalised on his opportunity. That's game number one out of the way that we lost. So we won, we lost our first daily game. Now I'll have a look at the second daily game. Right. We'll analyze this one. This is versus Disco Dera. Without further ado, see how it went. Disco Dera's king, king side board moves up to moves up the board two spaces. We move our left rook board up to. He moves his queen board up to. Move our queen board. He moves his king pawn down one. We move our king pawn up one. Now basically these four, four pawns cancel each other out. They can't move up unless they take another piece diagonally. He moves his right side knight up the board. We move our left side bishop up. Brings his left side knight out. We bring our left side or our rook pawn up one. He brings right side bishop out. We bring one of our right side pawns out. He brings one of his right side pawns out. One. We move our Left rock up one. This is one of the mistakes that this guy Nero made. He brings his left side bishop down here. Now, what he doesn't know is once we take his bishop here, he he can't take out he can't take out bishop with his knight. Because we'd be taking his knight, the queen, and we would win. We would take two pieces and only lose one. So that's why he doesn't want to take our bishop. Basically, him moving his bishop over here is a big mistake. What we take his bishop, tries not to take us with his knight. Castles instead. We move our right side bishop up. He leaves one of his left side pawns up one. We move one of our right side pawns up two. He moves his left rock pawn up two. We move one of our right side up one. And we threaten his right. He has to move his knight nice away. We move our our right side rook pawn up two. Now basically these pawns cancel each other out. Not only do these four pawns cancel, cancel each other out, these four pawns also cancel each other out. We got a narrow path to victory. He moves one of his left side pawns down one. We bring our, our left side Push it back. He takes our pawn with one of his left side pawns. We take him with our left side. He moves his left side bishop across. We move our left side knight out. 
he brings his queen down. Now, this is a mistake. He obviously didn't see this, but the bishop is patrolling this area, so the bishop take him and he resigns. Our bishop took his queen. That was a mistake by him. We take his queen and it's game over. So it's a way of the light flag then, right then and there. So you made two big mistakes. I've highlighted it in this game. And that's pretty much why we're always going to win the game. Up a number num, number of advantage for taking taking him twice that reply. That's why we were always going to win the game. Taking his queen was the nail in the coffin. Let's game review chess game review number two guys. So one one lost one. We lost our first game versus Sykes. We lost our, our game against Disco Dero. We go, back, we go to game number three now, guys. And there's five more games to review. This is our second game against Sykes. Let's see how it went. He brings out his king side. One up two. We bring our right side rook up one. Up right, right side rook pawn up one. He brings his queen side pawn up two. We bring our queen side pawn up one. He brings his left side rook, um, knight up into the board. We bring our left side rook up two he brings his right side knight out we bring one of our left um left pawns up one he brings brings his bishop up the right side bishop up one we move our right side bishop out he brings his right side knight down the board. Now he's threatening us. We've got to be very careful of this area. We've got to defend. You decide, bring our pawn up here. Brings his from his left pawns down one. We bring our inside pawn up one, and now these two pawns are against each other out. They only can move up the board by taking diagonally other pieces. He decides the castle, and we bring one of our left side pawns up two. He takes us. Born, we take him with our bishop. He moves his rook across to the side. We bring our left rook side pawn up one. He brings his right side rook on down one. Up one. Bring our left side bishop up one space. He moves his knight to put, to put pressure on our queen. We take his knight with our bishop. He takes our bishop with his pawn. We move our right side knight out. Brings his left side knight out. Pressure. He takes his knight with our knight. He takes our knight with his rook. Now he's got pressure with his rook and bishop here. We move our 
but our left side warms up one. He brings his queen out. Now there's lots of pressure on here. We decide to move our pawn up to block this queen from moving further down the board. However, he moves his queen down here. And even more pressure on us. We move our rook over to put pressure on his queen. He moves his queen over here. Kick us. We move in the way of the queen. When the king and queen prevent to stop the check. Takes us. We pretty much weren't very defensive at the st We weren't bending at all that well at the start. The game snowballed and he rolled on and moved his queen rock and bishop and bishop down here and one of his pawns down here checkmate we can't move there we can't move there we can't go here because this pawn is guarding this space and this space we can't move here so it's checkmate we can't take him so it's checkmate i didn't get too close to me i wasn't defending properly and that's why we lost the game so that's Game number three, guys, out of seven that we're reviewing. We've lost two, one, one, only one so far. Now we go to game number four. This is versus Yuri Nick. We move out. Right side, rock pawn up two. He brings his he brings his king side pawn down two up the board. We move our king side pawn up two. He brings his left side knight out. We bring our left side knight out. He brings his left side bishop out. We bring our right side knight out. He brings his right side knight out. We move our left side knight forward. He takes our knight with his knight. We take his knight our pawn and we're threatening this knight. He has to retreat. He decides to move forward. Now This is a very good plus. This is a very strong spot for him. It's been protected. This, this knight here has been protected by this pawn and this bishop. We decide at the free piece. This pawn is not being protected. We decide to take him out right now. That our knight. He moves his queen side pawn down one to pressure our knight. We retreat with our knight. He castles. We move one of our left side pawns up one, pressing his knight. He retreats with his knight. We move our queen side pawn up two to threaten his bishop. He has to retreat, so he's retreated with his bishop and his knight. We're pushing forward. So we're in a very good position here. We've done well in our position and put pressure on our opponent. We move out with our right side pawns up to threaten his knight. He has to retreat once again. His knight. We move our right side bishop up. He takes our unguarded pawn. His right right bishop. Now our knight is pinned because. A more valuable piece is hiding behind the, the, the knight. If we move this knight, it's going to take our queen, so we can't move our knight. We move our queen up here. We're still covering the knight here. He decides to bring down one of his knights again. We castle. He takes one of our pawns with his, his knight. 
We take out his knight with our knight. He takes our knight. Wing. We both lost two knights. Two. He's lost two pawns and two knights. We've lost two knights and one pawn. So he's got pressure on us. We protect our king and rook by putting us between the pawn and his queen. We confront his queen with our queen. He takes our queen, we take his queen. A disaster aversion. Brings down one of his left side pawns down one. We bring our right side rock across one. He brings his right side rock across. We bring our left side bishop up the board. He brings one of his right side pawns up the board. We take his pawn with our pawn. And he, the thing about this move, the stellar move, by the way, by moving this pawn by taking his pawn, it opens up the fact that we've we've him in check, as you can see. Checked him. He has to either move his king away or place one of his rocks in front of our bishop, which would be fatal anyway. If he moves his rock here or his rook over here, they're both toast, depending on which one he moves. We decided to move the king away, that's the order that he could do. We take his pawn without pawn. Now we put pressure on the end game here, become a queen. He moves his rock across to try and put pressure on our pawn. We move our bishop up here to hold this. To Take this pawn. He moves his rook across. We move our bishop up here. Put pressure on this pawn. He takes out one of our rooks with his first rook. We take out his first rook, our second rook. Now we're down, both down to two bishops and a pawn and a rook. And I've got five pawns left, and he's got four, five pawns left. So it's still a very even game at this point in time. He decides to move his bishop back. Obviously, protect this pawn. We move our rook up the page to put pressure on his bishop. He moves his bishop away. We move out one of our bishops up. He brings down one of one of his left side so, left side pawns down one. We check him. Now what he can do is take our rook, his last rook. But what will happen is we'll take his last rook with one of our bishops. However, he decides to resign. The fact is, this is why we resigned. If you took his our last rook with well, his last rook, you would take his last rook. Even though the game's still in the balance, he could have put his bishop here, hit this this pawn from coming a queen. He could have done that. But he decided not to, for some reason. He decided to. Decided to resign. Probably felt I was putting too much pressure on him. So, get out of it. But his next move should have been with his bishop up to here. Especially uh, if he could have taken my rook, his rook, and I would have taken out his last rook with my bishop. And he should have moved 
this bishop up here to protect this pawn from becoming a queen. We decided to quit, and we take the win. That's the end of the third game, my, my, my friends. Now we're back on to the fifth game. This is the fifth game versus Yeti House. Without further ado, let's see how it went. I move my right side rook pawn up to. He brings his inside pawn up the board by two. I bring my king side pawn up to. He brings his left side knight out to threaten this pawn here. We defend by bringing out our left side knight out at this point. He brings his queen side pawn down the, up, down, down the board by two. We bring one of our left, right side pawns up one. He takes our pawn. We take his pawn back. He brings his left side bishop down the board. Bring our queen out. Brings his right side bishop down the board to threaten our queen. We take a vase of action, move our queen. He takes our knight with his bishop. He takes his bishop with our pawn. Now, I probably should have taken bishop with this pawn. As we're taking this pawn here, using this pawn here, it opens up this here. I could have easily taken this bishop with this pawn and these three pawns would still remain and all we have to do is move the bishop out and we could have safely castled. I think that was a mistake by using this pawn. Take bishop. Because it opens us up. It's a whole big hole there. But we should have taken bishop. That opens us up. For attacks later on. Brings his queen down one. We bring our inside pawn up one. Castles. Take this pawn with our queen. He brings his right side knight down to threaten our queen. We move our queen out of the way. He brings his right side rook across one to protect this pawn from attack by the queen. We bring our left side bishop out. Written this rook. However, he decides to move his right side rook pawn down one through our queen. We have to move our queen out of the way. He brings his left side rook pawn down one. We bring one of our, our left side knight up the board. However, that was a bad move. He could have taken us. No, sorry, it wasn't a bad move. I was just trying to block my block block him from attacking versus my knight king. That's why I put the knight in the way. Even if he took our our knight with his bishop, we would have been able to take his bishop with our pawn. He moved his rook, his right side rook across. We castle. Brings his right side rook back to the right off the board. We move our left side rook across one. He moves his left side rook across one. We move our knight back. Hit the king.
he brings his rook out. Threaten our queen. We have to move our queen out of the way. He brings the queen down the page. We bring our right side bishop out to challenge his bishop. Now, this is a mistake that we made. We should have moved the pawn up here or the knight up here. Stop him from taking our pawn right there. Now, let's do that. So, he, this, is, this is the game. This is the game changer in this game, guys. One fatal mistake can lose you the whole game. In chess, that's for sure. It, it opens us up to attack by his queen. Once he takes this point, we put our knight down here so you protect the bishop. Our, things are getting out of hand now. He takes our bishop with his bishop. We take his bishop with our rook. He brings his rook across here to th also threaten the bishop. He could take. And even if we didn't move our bishop away, we would take our bishop, his rook, and we could take his rook, our knight, but he'll be, he's going to have the final say by taking our knight with his queen and he'll check us. He would have a two to one. He would win, he would take out two of our pieces and we only lose. He would take out two of our pieces where he take one of his, so he would win that battle anyway. So however, we decide to move our bishop out of harm's way, by threatening his rook. He takes our bishop with his knight. We take his knight with our queen, with our pawn, sorry. And we threaten his rook right now. He brings his rook across. Threaten our pawn. We bring our Pawn up one on the left side of the page of the board. He retreats his queen. We bring our queen back. He brings his rook across here. We bring one of our center pawns up one. He brings one of his right side. The pawns down in two. We 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 bring up one of our centre pawns up one. Threaten his horse, his knight, and he has to take evasive action by moving his knight out of the way. We bring our right side rook pawn up one. He brings his right side rook pawn down the page by one. We bring our left side rook up the board, threaten his rook. He moves his rook out of the way. We bring one of our left side horns up one. Mainly to just block him from coming down here with his rook. However, he decides to take our pawn with his pawn. We and we Move our pawn up, which is his knight. He's been threatening his knight. Where's his knight out of harm's way? We bring our second rock down here to double stack the rocks. He takes our takes our rock with his knight. We, and he's got us checked. We take his knight with our rook. Right now he's got two rocks. We've got one rook. We've both got queens. I have a knight.
who both got three powerful pieces left. However, he's got two rocks to kick out. He moves one of his centre pawns down to threaten my not my rook. We move our one of our left side pawns up one to threaten his rook. He moves his rook out of the way. We take his rook with our his first rook with our knight. He checks us. His queen checks our king with his queen. We move our king out of harm's way. We he moves his pawn down here to threaten our queen to check us. We can't take his pawn because the queen is patrolling us. We move our king across to block the the pawn becoming a queen. Brings his rook down, take a queen. And this, this 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 game is snowballing out of control now. We're losing key battles. Take his rook, his last rook with our king. However, he takes our fight with his queen, and now we can't win this game. We're down to four pawns, and we've got a king left. Where he's got a queen, five pawns left. Not only does he have one more pawn than us, but his queen left. That's enough to win the game. Move our king away. He moves his pawn down. And then I resign. I can see it was a hopeless situation. I wouldn't be able to win the game anyway. Key moment in the game was when he took my pawn on the corner with his queen. And I failed to defend that pawn. By moving the knight or the pawn up. That was the changing moment in the game. That's end of chess game review number five, guys. At this point, after five game reviews, I've lost three and won two games. Let's go into the next game, game number six. Let's see how it goes. So this is my third game. So far against Sykes. You're one of my friends. Plays poker and chess just like I do. So this is our third game against Sykes and our sixth um, chess hit, um, game review overall that we that we're doing over the last week of chess play. Com. But further ado, let's see how this game went. We move our queen side pawn up two. He moves his queen side pawn down two. We bring our our left. Knight up the board. He brings his left knight down the board. We bring our left side bishop up the board. He brings his his right side pawn up. Rook pawn up one down the page one. We bring our queen up the page by one. He brings his right side rook up the page down the page. Down the board. We bring our right side rook pawn up one. He brings his king side pawn up down the page by one. We bring our left side rook pawn up the page by one. He brings his right side bishop down the page, down the board. We take his bishop with our bishop. He takes our bishop with his queen. We bring our queen out. Put the pressure on. Now if we can just take this pawn. He would put in a world of hurt. So he decides to castle. But he's well protected. Bring our queen back. He takes our queen. We take his queen. Takes our pawn with his knight. The false move by us that was not protected. Brings his knight down, take our pawn. Now, 
in castle right now. He would move his horse here. He'd have us in check. And then here we'd be forced to move our king and he could easily take out our rook move. That's why we castle right now. Check against that. He brings one of his right side pawns down too. We bring one of our right side pawns down too to threaten his knight here. He brings his knight back, retreating it. We bring our left side knight up the page. He brings one of his right side pawns down one. We bring our left side knight up the page, threaten both bishop and his rook. He decides to dodge the attack by moving his rook across to the side. We move our left side knight back down the page to avoid being taken out by the rook. Moves right side rook down the page, pressure on us. We take his rook. Now, this is a mistake by him. This is going to cost him this game. He moved his rook down here, not realizing I can take his bishop. Take his rook with my bishop. Now we've got a now we've got the advantage. If you're down a rook or a queen or a hawk or a knight or a bishop, you easily lose the game. Especially if you lose, a, if you're down a rook or a queen, you face them. He takes our bishop with his knight, his pawn, and it opens up this area here for us to move our rocks up, take his king. He takes his pawn with our knight. He moves one of his left side pawns down the page. We move our right side knight out. Moves his left side rook across. We bring one of our left side pawns up the page by two. Brings his left side knight down the page. Put pressure on us. We bring our one of our knights back down the page. Brings one of his left side pawns down by one. We bring one of our right side pawns up by one. Brings his right side bishop down. Pin this horse knight. Why is this a good move? Because we can't move our knight. Because he will take a more valuable piece, which is the rook right there if we move this knight. This is why this is such a good move. He's putting lots of pressure on us, by the way. Move out. We move our rook across to protect this knight. Bring one of his centered pawns down. We bring we bring our right side rook pawn up by one. Takes our one of our center pawns with, with his center pawn. We move out one of our right side. We remove our right side. Rook pawn up by one. He decides to move one of his left side pawns down. Cancel us out. Now, these two pawns can't move. Cancel each other out. Only way they can move is by taking diagonally. Move our king over here. Now, we, we've got very good defense here. He can't move his, his, his knight over here. Or... However, he can move it here if he wishes to. However, he can't take any of our pieces because we'll, as you can see at the moment, we'll be able to pick that. He could have moved his knight here if he wants to. However, he decides to move down here to push, push in our rook, move our rook across, push, Dodge is a, is, a, is a possible attack. He brings one of his left side pawns down. We take his rook. Is it, sorry, we take 
one of his knights with our one of our knights and put pressure on his bishop. However, he can take our knight, but he does, and then we take his pawn. So we we won a two we we won two pieces there, two of his pieces out, and we only lost one piece. That was a good exchange. As you can see, we 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 took out two pieces and only took out one of ours. We got a good advantage here in this game. Now we got four pawns. We got five pawns left. He's got five pawns left. He's got a, a, a knight and a and a bishop. We've got only one knight. However, the kicker is we got two rocks. He's only got one rock. He moves one of his left side pawns down page by one. We move one of our knights up the page, put pressure on this pawn. He defends the pawn with his rook. We move our knight up the page. He brings one of his center pawns down by one. We put him in check with our knight. He has to move his knight towards us to defend. We move our knight away. He brings his king down the page. However, he can't take this point out because we're he can't. we have to move our knight out of the way because this knight is coming under attack by this point. Over he missed an opportunity here. He could no. He's sorry. He couldn't take out knight here with this pawn because it would have put him in check. This pawn is pinned out, and that is a more valuable piece hiding behind it. But he cannot take our knight with his pawn because this rook would have him in check. He moves his king towards us a little bit. We move our knight out of the way. He moves his knight back. We, we double stack our two rocks here. He brings his rook across here to cover this. We take him with our knight. He takes us. His knight. We move our pawn up to pressure his knight. He moves his rook away. We take. His knight with our rook. He moves his king away. And we couldn't have taken our rook here with his king, because this pawn here is protected. He moves his king away. We move our king up the page. Oh, sorry, the rook up the page. He brings his rook down the page a bit. His king. We put him in check with our second rook. He moves his king away out of the firing line. However, we're starting to mop up the board now, taking out third to last rock. A third to last pawn, sorry, our second rock. He can't take either of our rooks because both of them are protecting each other. He moves his pawn two spaces away from victory to get a queen. However, we've got him covered. We can easily take him out whenever we want. We move our rook around to confront his, his only rook left. He moves his, his rook down the page. We move our king to, to threaten his rook and protect our pawn. He won't take this pawn because if he takes a pawn, our pawn with his rook will take out his rook. And he can't bring his rock down here because we'd take him out. But losing that, sec that second rock of his was very costly. 
He moves his king across the page. We take out his rook. He takes our rook out with his pawn, and we take block his third to last pawn from becoming a queen at the finish line. He moves his king side. We move our rook across. He moves his king across. We take out his third to last pawn. Now we've got five pawns left, and he's only got two pawns, and we've got a rook. That's the kicker. He moves his king across and then decides to resign. The Sykes made a critical area error, error in this game. You think about the area error for a minute. Oh yes, he. Maybe just rewind it a bit. That's right, when he moved his, his rook down here, and not realising we're taking out his bishop, uh, out his rook, first rook with our bishop. And that won us the game. We were up a rook all the way through that game. And if you lose your queen or if you're down a rook, nine times out of ten you'll lose the game, especially in the end game when rooks and queens become very powerful. That's the third. That's the third win we won. We won over the last week, guys. This is six ga um yes, game reviews I've made right now, but one more to go. But uh, it's now two one to Sykes. Playing our fourth game as we speak, and that will pro game will probably be reviewed next week. Next weekend, I'll just bring up the seventh and final game. Let's start this game. Move our queenside pawn up two. He brings his queenside pawn down two. We bring out our, our left side knight up the board. He brings his left side knight up the board. We bring our left side bishop up the board. He brings his right side bishop up the board, down the board. We bring out Right, rook pawn up one. He brings his left rook pawn down the page by two. We bring one of our right side pawns up the page by one. He retreats his bishop. We bring our left side bishop up the page to threaten his knight. He retreats his knight away from us. We move our bishop back. He brings his right side knight out down the page. We bring our left side knight down the page. Now we're threatening this position. If he doesn't do anything here, we'll be checking him and we can take out his knight, his rook. That's the goal. However, he doesn't see it. Moves his pawn down instead. And we check him. We've checked, put him in check. And, and he has to move his king away here. And then we can take out his, his rook. And like I said just before, guys, if you're down a rook or down, if you lose your queen and your opponent hasn't lost his queen, you're at a massive disadvantage. Nine times out of ten, you'll lose the game. But he resigned after... So early in this game, this game had hardly, hardly started, and he resigned. So that is that is all the hand chess reviews for this week. We won four and lost three, and drew none. This video will be going on my YouTube channel. 
the Pierce guy, and I put it on my social media channels and Discord. We'll be back tomorrow. But 31 chess moves that we've got to do. We've got 18 hours to make our first chess move, then 20 hours for the next one. So we'll be making them soon. I hope you guys have got some value from this. If you any questions about chess, or any, any feedback to give me, feel free to let me know in the comments on the YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. We'll be back next week for our second batch of had chess game news. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.